now this weekend you guys have a little uh, little tournament coming up for soccer for the cure a little, uh, little event that helps out the cancer victims uh uab and elon up next on the docket uh what do you want to see from your team or what type of response do you want to see from your team this upcoming weekend that these two teams can perennially make the NCAAs and you guys already saw UCA, which is a NCAA team not too long ago. Same thing for Earl Roberts. Now you get to see another fresh set of teams. What, what do you see in, in them? Yeah, I think it's going to be a different style and approach. Um, you know, we knew going in that it was going to be a physical game, a teams that were both going to play very direct, um, you know, which is something that we need to get accustomed to. Because the thing about our, our conference is a mix of both, um, just because of location and regions where they play. Um, I expect these two matches over the weekend be more of a soccer match, um, be more obviously tactical. But uh, I think the ball is going to be on the ground a lot more, uh, which I think suits us uh, right now currently um, as we evolve into to adapting to direct style play. Um, and then, you know, some of these new guys, they only know one way from where they come from. So now they're getting exposed to different areas of, of how you play uh, Division One soccer. Uh, and, and I expect it to be, you know, a good night on Friday with a good crowd from them open up their first home game um, of the season at UAB. Um, with a team, like you said, traditionally that's an NCAA tournament. And then flipping around 48 hours later and playing the Elon team from CAA conference, that's always been strong. So um, two good matches, what we want, uh, you know, it'll be the same once we get to conference play. It was Friday, Sunday swings. So this will give us a good test to see um, not only how we do in game one, but how much we can bounce back and be prepared for game two.